Good morning guys. So today we thought that we would fill you in and kind of show you what we've been doing this last weekend. Um, as you guys probably know, we're doing house projects on the weekend. And one of them first on the list was our storm cellar because it's storm season here in Oklahoma and we've never fully got the cellar prepared because we aren't typically here for one. And for two, it's always been there. So like it was a good hidey hole, no matter if it was stocked with stuff or not. But this year I thought it's a good time to go ahead and get it stocked. So before I even start, I have a question for you. Those of you who've ever done a storm cellar, what do you put in your storm cellar? I grew up around here, so tornadoes aren't that, I guess, scary really to us, but, um, and we've got really lucky as far as never being hit, but that might not be the case forever and ever. And so here's what we decided to put in, but I also wanna know what you would put in or what you have put in in the past because we could always add to or change it Okay, so this is what we've decided to do is just a tote down there in the cellar and we'll take you down there in a second. We have the toilet seat <laughs> for the five gallon bucket. Yep, the guy at, where was I? I told you, Atwoods. Atwoods yeah. He looked at me with total disgust whenever I told him that I was looking for a toilet seat for a five gallon bucket. So anyways, uh, we have our lanterns and these are oil lamps but they also can take kerosene um, which is all I could find at Walmart but I've since researched and ordered oil online because it acted like it or from what I read it said it burned cleaner so we're gonna go get that actually that's in the house do you want to go grab that and then I got some flashlights with batteries we'll also put extra batteries down there not even for sure if this is like a good brand but that's the thing is like it's a balancing act between how much money do you spend on this stuff because for the most part it's just gonna set down there but what do you do to be prepared so a lot of the things that I was reading online said that for a storm shelter specifically for like tornado season really you only need to plan for 24 to 72 hours max and I would say that that's a pretty good rule of thumb. I have heard one story of a woman being in her shelter all weekend, but that's because she had no family around, nobody knew about her cellar, anything like that. And that's not the case for us around here. We're really lucky that we have a lot of family around, not just right down the road, but an hour or so out. So they would be checking on us. So that's what we're kind of planning for this is the first time i've ever got any of those what are they called like ready to eat meals um oh, yeah like we call them mr mres MRE, i think that's a specific brand but they're ready to eat meals and really one of the reasons of stocking this is just to kind of like lower the anxiety that could possibly come up with storms and one of those things that's now heightened since austin was diagnosed with diabetes is just making sure that he would be taken care of and so more or less we know that you can go like I think it's like three days right with yeah. no food or water without even really noticing a difference but for him the story's a little bit different so we're gonna put those down there and probably some protein bars I think so all right so I just picked up this you guys will have to let me know about this company it's just what was local here is the oil the only reason I got the blue was because it was $2 cheaper a bottle. <laughs> they had clear in the same brand. I will link this stuff down below. Got it on Amazon. And I got this first aid kit. Um, just to note, the first aid kit in the pharmacy department for the same thing is $5 cheaper than the camping department, at least in our store. So we have some paper towels, matches. Here is some protein bars. I just picked up these Cliff bars. I don't know. I think they have about as much protein as any other bar, if I remember right. There's a little funnel for the oil, just some spoons and stuff, along with some tissues. That's really for me because <laughs> these allergies are killing me, so I'm always thinking about tissues everywhere. And then here is some trash bags. These are for the toilet or obviously anything else that we would need. And then I did get an emergency blanket. And I might pick up a couple other first aid things. I'm not sure. All right, so we're going to take this down there now. All right, so here we have 
our bucket and we decided to just pick up water like this for now we might do some other water storage but that's what we're gonna leave down there for now yummy are all the spiders gone all right so i'm down here oh it's echoey i'm down here right now and wow. i thought it's echoey i would show you around might have to voice over this part though so we got really lucky with this place there is lights in the cellar and all of these jars also it's huge how big do you think this is uh, this is roughly <laughs> six foot. Okay. I'm not quite six foot. So, know. six by, uh, or twelve by twelve? It's square, right? Yeah, it might be twelve by twelve. Uh -huh. Yeah, ten or twelve. Something like that. No, be ten There's ten two lights. Boom. Which, obviously, those might go out. But, it also has this glass storage. I was down here this last weekend cleaning up. It was so just dirty down here. We hadn't cleaned it out since we got this place. Tons of spiders, tons of dirt. All the jars were like all over the place and some of them had broke. So there was still some glass on the floor from whenever we had that really bad earthquake. So, but this jar collection uh, is incredible. So I organized it by kind that way i could see what i had and just see do i need to keep all these i would love to do some canning in the future but it's not something i do right now i'm also curious i need to do some research on like can all this be cleaned up off this glass but look at some of these they're so cool this is a cool one of course it's not focusing this whole row is like ball and cur jars with the regular mouths. These are wide mouths. And then these are wide jars that aren't technically the like canning jars. I believe these are like mayonnaise jars. I do not know how long it took this woman to collect all these. It's wild. And then those are all miscellaneous types, but regular mouth. So that's what we have and then a couple smaller ones down here. So Austin already put the lid on the toilet. So anyways, I came down here and sprayed this. Look at that. There, oh no. I might have to spray again. Also there's this table that was down here. Uh, we have since brought down these, I think they call them like the zero gravity chairs or something like that. We don't use these that often, but we had them and we figured they're the best things to go down here because you can sit in them, you can kind of sleep in them if you had to be down here for a while. Kind of like a cot. Yeah. Eventually, I would love to add to this and get like one of those big battery banks and a couple other things. But for now, it's not something where we have to get it all at once. So cots were on the list, but these kind of double as chairs and cots. So works for now. Also has a drain. We're having a little bit of leakage from here. So we're gonna need to get this kind of fixed. You can see the daylight, so. Pretty good overall, clean, not too shabby. What is that? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I don't even know what that is. That's a weird looking bug. I don't, hmm, I don't like bugs. Hey, that looks like a big rolling poly is what that is. No. Yes, it is. There's a... It's a huge roly poly, look at it. That's like the queen of the roly polies. No. I guarantee you that's what that is. But they don't have those tentacles on the yes, front like that, they do they? Do. Yes. Oh, that's disgusting. Look, police have those. It looks like I'm gonna have to come down here and spray again. I swept everything and then sprayed with Tempo last weekend. That stuff is really great, but it's on contact, so they have to walk over it. So sometimes it takes spraying a couple times to get everything good, but I'll just come down here and spray again with that. Checking the sturdiness of our toilet. How is it? Gotta make sure you got a tough bucket. It's pretty good. My goal is to never use that thing. It's not collapsing or anything, so that's a plus. Yeah, I hope I don't ever have to use it either. Hopefully, we don't get stuck down in here for three days. Yeah. Because that would stink. Oh my gosh. 
That's why we have right. trash bags up so we can tie it up, right? If yeah. Yeah, and I've heard, I think I read somewhere that you could put kitty litter. Oh. But I need to finish researching that because I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, let's move this stuff around. So that's pretty much what we have in our cellar. We are going to add clothes. I was told to put those in backpacks and then wear closed-toed shoes or put closed-toed shoes down in there because they basically, from what I've heard, it's not so much what you need while you're down there, but what you need once you come out if a tornado actually hits and all your stuff is destroyed. Closed-toed shoes, gloves, probably an extra change of undergarments. Lord knows we have plenty of shoes. Even me, not just Kayla. Yeah. I've got plenty of shoes. Yep. Got extra closed toed shoes. Yeah, so we'll just put an old pair down there probably. So that's all, what else we're going to add. Also a weather radio. And like I said, eventually one of those charging banks. If you guys have ones of either one of those that you suggest, that you like, please let me know what they are because I researched them for hours and I can't decide. Um, one site I was reading suggested a hand crank weather radio, but if I keep up with maintaining this, I could probably have batteries that were fine, so I'm not sure. I figure I'm going to kind of update this or check on it, change batteries out, that type of thing, twice a year the two times a year that we typically have bad storms. So anyways, let me know any suggestions that you guys have down below. I would love to hear from you, especially on those two things, the power bank and the weather radio. Yeah, also let us know how terrified you are of tornadoes. This, <laughs> might, this might depend on where you're from. The only reason I ask, on a scale of one to 10, one being the least worried and 10 being like really terrified. I'm probably, I was gonna say 10, but as long as I got a hidey hole, I'm good if I don't got a hidey hole under the ground um, but anyway the only reason I said that is because I had a buddy of mine I don't know if he watches these videos or not I won't say his name but he worked in Oklahoma for a couple like a month or so and he ended up dragging up from the job pipeline job and going home or going to a different job because it was tornado season and he he wasn't about to have it and I don't blame him you know if you're staying in a trailer that's, I mean, that's which a scary. lot of the campgrounds in Oklahoma do have shelters which is great but what a lot of people don't like is that their shelters they're like rated for like 10 people but really only like two or four people could be in there comfortably and so yeah people are like a uh, shelter whatever Austin definitely escalates to a 10 quickly if he doesn't have a storm shelter gotta be under the ground also, he doesn't like above ground shelters because once I tried to take him to above ground shelter and he was freaking out. I don't know, I guess maybe I'm just, I don't know, stupid, but they don't terrify me too much, I guess just because I'm so used to them. We do wanna build a house one day and if we do, we will have a basement or a really large cellar. I would prefer a basement if we had kids where kids' bedrooms can be. That way this time of year, you just as a parent can get sleep. But that's not always something that's possible. And this storm cellar is like more than what a person could ever ask for. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. So we're definitely grateful to have it. And if we're here, we have it. Half the time whenever there's a storm though, you're not where your hidey hole is. <laughs> you're like driving down the road or something. Town, yeah. yeah. I like the weather. The, the Oklahoma stormy weather is, there's something about it when you grew up you know, with tornado weather, I like it. It's exciting, you know? Yeah. But I just don't want to be above ground whenever the tornado comes ripping through. There's just not, we've never lived anywhere where there's thunderstorms and stuff like there is here. And it's nostalgic, but it's also just, I don't know, whenever you, like you said, if you grew up with them, if you didn't hate it whenever you grew up, you miss them. Also, um, I updated you guys on Instagram, but if you don't follow me there, we actually got Paisley some medicine 
That's another thing is we're gonna put some medicine down there, but we actually got Paisley some more of like what would be considered a tranquilizer instead of an anxiety medicine because the anxiety medicine just doesn't cut it. So that's kind of the update on Paisley. We've used it once so far and we think that it's gonna work. Uh, we'll definitely let you guys know if that's something that you struggle with. I did ask the vet and they said that it shouldn't have any long-term effects on her health as far as like negative impacting her but to me like a four hour just shaking anxiety attack maybe it affects me more than it does her but it just breaks my heart and it stresses me out and so whenever she was having anxiety all day before we got gingham we didn't want to put her on something like this because it's not made to take every day and we didn't want her to lose her personality but now that she doesn't have the separation anxiety and she's fine with gingham being her buddy now we just need something for the storms and it's not so much the pressure we've learned it's really the sound of the lightning and the thunder also gunshots and fireworks are really bad on her so we hope that we found something that works and that we can keep her a little bit more comfortable whenever these storms do happen also that reminds me we need to put dog food down there dog food and I was thinking about them going to the restroom but technically got a drain down there so it might be alright. Yeah, yeah, I figured something but like yeah, that. yeah, dog food for sure. Which Gingham will hold it for a long time but depending on if Paisley's nervous she might just go right whenever we get down there. We should probably also take them down there so they're not nervous. Anyways, obviously this project is not done. We would love to hear your tips and tricks and advice and let us know what you think and what was Tuesday's video? Uh, oh, picking up the, camper. the camper lights. The saga continues. It continues. My truck's in the shop today. Uh, my appointment's not for another couple of hours, so I should be hearing from them, from the dealership. They're going to fix that front axle seal and then figure out what's going on with my fuses. We'll see what we can. Austin it, worked on them forever the other day. Yeah, because it works when I plug it into Kayla's truck, and so that tells me it's definitely my truck. Something's going on with it. So now we just need to get some lights fixed on the camper. Like well, some actual bulbs yeah. and covers from yeah. whenever we had those blowouts. Yeah, and thank you guys for all the suggestions. You know, some of them I did try, but other things I didn't know about. Somebody said something about a second fuse box, but I couldn't find it. But all the other suggestions and everything, I was just thank you. I appreciate that. We do really appreciate the suggestions. It's a lot of help. So, of course, we also mentioned in Tuesday's video about the uh, spring launch being backed up till May 3rd. So, yep. if you guys didn't catch that video, next Friday. Next Friday is the spring launch of Industrial Tradition. Yes. Thank you guys so much for all your kind comments. Those of you who have chatted with behind the scenes, you know who you are. And I appreciate you. Those who follow on Instagram know, know what's going on. Follow me on Instagram if you want to. Yes. She's very fun on Instagram. Get some behind the scenes of like, Austin doesn't really do it on his Instagram. So everything's pretty much on mine if you want more behind the scenes. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We love you. Be grateful. Work hard. And have fun. <laughs> Bye. We'll catch you guys in our next video. Bye. Basically spooping. <laughs> Is he? Are you done? Oh, it just flung from her ear. Nice. We have to stop Gingham from eating grass. Gingham, quit eating the grass. No, no, Bubby. Do you want to come up here and be in the video? Come here. Come on. Okay. okay. Say bye to the... Gingham, say bye. To the people. Say bye. Okay, no. good boy. That was him saying bye. Just no. pretend he was saying bye. <laughs> hey, quit being rude. We will catch you guys in our room. Gingham. Gingham. Those are horses. You see them every day. It's fine. <laughs>